So the modern witchcraft movement starting in the 1950s, really, but there's about 130 years of setup that I'm going to try to get through within five minutes if someone was willing to time me. All right. All right. So this whole mess starts out in the 1820s with this guy, Carl Ernst Yarke. He's a criminal law professor in Germany, not a historian, a criminal law professor. And he gets this wild idea. He's like, what if the witch trial witches were like real and shit? Anyways, fringe theory, no real thing. But in the 1930s, this guy, Franz Josef Mohn goes like, oh my God, maybe he's right. And like, they were like a weird cult worshiping Hecate and Dionysus coming up to, into Germany. Like they weren't like German pagans. They were like this whole other thing. Fringe idea. No one's taking this seriously. Like there are a couple other people who keep carrying it on, but it's like weirdos on the edge, not mainstream academia. Anyways, also in the late 19th century, we also have this whole spiritualism movement taking off and the, ri West, the, the rise of Western occultism and all that nonsense, you know, like Blavatsky, you know, blah, blah, Blavatsky, mother of theosophy. There was a cat that really was gone. Anyways, back to the witch cult. In the late 18, like 1899, Charles Leland publishes his book, Aradia, The Gospel of the Witches. He claims he was told about things by this woman named Madalena, who was part of an ancient cult of witches that kept going on. Anyways, complete and utter bullshit and mostly made up, but you know. He publishes it anyways. And then you get into like Margaret fucking Murray. And that's how you pronounce her name. Margaret fucking Murray gets into this shit in like, and publishes the witch cult in Western Europe in 1921. This actually sells pretty well and gets invited to rewrite the entry for witchcraft in the Encyclopedia Britannica in 1929. And all of this is backdrop because then so we got the spiritual movement happening. A radio has been published. And you get this lady, Dorothy Clutterbuck, starts the New Forest Coven in New Forest, England. And she's like doing a remix Rosicrucianism, but she's calling herself a witch and she's calling her group witches. We don't know exactly when that group was founded, but when Gerald Gardner wanders his ass in in 1939, he goes, I love this shit. And anyways, Clutterbuck's like, this is a secret. We're a secret cult. The whole point of a secret witch cult is this is a fucking secret. Gerald Gardner. He's one of the cool kids. He doesn't need one, but he needs everyone to know he's one of the cool kids. So anyways, in like 1946, he like fucks off to start his own group in Bricketwood. And he takes Edith Woodford Grimes, also known as Daffo, with him in 46. And they, and uh, Daffo's the high priestess, Gardner's high priest. And this is where Wicca kind of gets started because he's like, I don't like that stuff they were doing in New Forest. I'm going to make up my own shit, claim that's even older. You know, it'll all make sense. All right. So. Gardner, in an attempt to spread his version of witchcraft, includes a fictional version in his novel High Magic's Aid in 1949 because he's got to publish it fictionally because witchcraft's still kind of illegal. Like, not throw you in jail illegal, but cause you big fines and get you socially ostracized illegal. Anyways, in like 1951, the laws change, and he's like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm writing my, my real book. And uh, Daffo's like, no, no. Edith Whitford Grimes is like, uh, again, secret fucks off gets the hell out of there and he publishes witchcraft today <laughs> which by the way contains a preface by margaret fucking murray because she's like here we are we found my witch cult we found him and anyway so that's how we get to the beginning of idiots calling themselves witches which leads to the four of us sitting here that's, oh, that's of the modern witchcraft movement did i get it did, did anybody I did. 